Vencard is an outgrowth of the YMCA program. After the Civil War, the Y started offering uh, educational programs, free courses. A lot of it's directed to the uh, immigrants, people new to the country. In a number of cities, including Cleveland, this educational program keeps growing. In a number of schools, they actually develop into colleges. And so in 1923, they upgrade the program to a college level. And it's called the YMCA School of Technology. And that name lasts for about four years. And the problem with that is, you know, YMCA on your diploma. Uh, that's not very prestigious. That's not Harvard. Now, Mr. Fenn comes into the picture. Fenn had a long career with Sherwin-Williams. And Mr. Fenn is very active in the Y. And when, when he died, he left a large endowment to the YMCA for the educational program. That money he left was the endowment for the school. They named the school after him. It was sort of honoring him for this donation. So that's how Fenn came into being. They adopted that name in 1930. They had their eye on the uh, Fenn Tower, or the National Town and Country Club, because it sat for years. The National Town and Country Club was an athletic club. Unfortunately, their timing was not good. The Depression started, and it went bankrupt. Thomas is sitting over in the Johnson building. You walk out of the, on the main porch of the building, you look out there, and you see this big tower sitting there vacant. You know, it's like, wow, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? And they got it at a bargain price. Basically, they got it for the back taxes. The school was able to move in there. I think it was 1937 or 38 they moved in. 